Have you ever wondered why our planet is getting warmer? Welcome to our exploration of global warming, a phenomenon that's been steadily turning up the Earth's thermostat. Global warming is the long-term increase in Earth's average temperature. And it's not just the air that's heating up, our oceans are also absorbing the heat, leading to warmer waters. As a consequence, our sea levels are rising, and the acidity of our oceans is increasing. The most significant rise in temperatures has happened in the last 35 years, a period that coincides with an acceleration in human activities that release heat-trapping gases into the Earth's atmosphere. Now that we have a basic understanding of global warming, let's dive deeper into its causes in the next segment. Stay tuned as we unravel the intricate web of human activities that are turning up the heat on our planet. One of the main causes of global warming is the burning of fossil fuels. Now you might wonder, what are fossil fuels? Well, fossil fuels are natural resources like coal, oil, and gas that have been formed from the remains of ancient plants and animals. Every time we flip a switch, take a drive, or heat our homes, we're tapping into these resources. They're used to generate electricity, power vehicles, and provide heat, making them an integral part of our daily lives. But here's the catch. When we burn these fuels, they release a large amount of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, into the atmosphere. Picture this, a blanket of carbon dioxide surrounding our planet. As the sun's rays reach the Earth, this blanket traps the heat, causing the planet to warm up. It's like wearing a coat on a hot summer day. This process is known as the greenhouse effect. While it's a natural phenomenon that keeps our planet habitable, human activities have amplified it. We've been burning fossil fuels at an unprecedented rate since the Industrial Revolution, leading to a sharp increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now you might think, well, isn't carbon dioxide a part of the air we breathe? Yes it is, but too much of anything can be harmful. Excessive carbon dioxide acts like a thick, heavy coat, trapping more heat and causing the Earth's average temperature to rise. This is what we call global warming, and it's not just about warmer days or milder winters. It's about more intense heat waves, melting ice caps, rising sea levels, and extreme weather events. It's an existential crisis for countless species and indeed for us humans. Sadly, our reliance on fossil fuels is causing our planet to heat up. But remember, it's not too late to change our ways. By understanding the problem, we're already taking the first step towards the solution. Another significant cause of global warming is deforestation. You see, trees are nature's own air purifiers. They absorb carbon dioxide, one of the primary gases responsible for the greenhouse effect, and convert it into oxygen through a process known as photosynthesis. But when we cut down trees, we're stopping this process. We're taking away these natural air purifiers and in doing so, we're allowing more carbon dioxide to remain in our atmosphere. But it doesn't stop there. When trees are burned or left to decompose, they release the carbon dioxide they've stored during their lifetime back into the air. So not only are we losing the benefits of live carbon absorbing trees, but we're also adding more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. It's a double whammy that our planet just can't afford. Imagine how much we could help our planet if we just stopped cutting down trees. You might not know this, but factory farming also contributes to global warming. Factory farming is a significant player in the climate change arena, releasing harmful greenhouse gases throughout its supply chain. It's not just about the carbon dioxide we often hear about. This industry emits gases like methane and nitrous oxide, which are even more potent than carbon dioxide. Imagine that. Factory farming is like a chain reaction of environmental issues. It requires large amounts of energy, contributing to the burning of fossil fuels. In turn, this results in the release of more greenhouse gases. But it doesn't stop there. The byproduct of all this, aside from our food, is pollution. This pollution not only damages our air quality, but also destroys natural habitats and contributes to deforestation. The ripple effect of factory farming goes beyond just the immediate environment. The process intensifies issues like biodiversity loss and food production problems already exacerbated by climate change. It's a cycle we're stuck in, but it doesn't have to be this way. By rethinking our food production methods, we can break this cycle. We can turn towards more sustainable farming practices, reducing the demand for factory farming. It's not an overnight solution, but every small step counts. Remember, change begins with awareness and understanding. If we rethink our food production methods, we could make a big difference. Now that we know the causes of global warming, what can we do to stop it? It might seem like a daunting task considering the magnitude of the problem. But remember, 
Every drop in the ocean counts, and so does every action we take. One of the most effective ways to combat global warming is by reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. This means choosing renewable energy options whenever possible. You could opt for solar panels or wind energy for your homes. And it's not just about electricity. Consider driving a hybrid or electric car, or better yet, carpooling or using public transportation. Making our homes more energy efficient is another way to reduce our carbon footprint. This could mean anything from using LED light bulbs to properly insulating your home to keep it warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Remember, the less energy we use, the less carbon dioxide we emit into the atmosphere. Reducing waste is another crucial step. This could involve recycling, composting, or simply consuming less. Did you know that a significant amount of energy goes into manufacturing and transporting goods? By consuming less, we can indirectly reduce the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere. And then there's the matter of our food choices. As we discussed earlier, factory farming is a significant contributor to global warming. By choosing locally sourced plant-based foods, we can help reduce the demand for factory farmed products, thereby reducing their environmental impact. Finally, let's not forget about the power of our voices. By voicing our concerns to elected officials, we can support policies that aim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the effects of climate change. Remember, every little action counts when it comes to saving our planet. It's not just about preserving the Earth for future generations, but also about ensuring our survival and the survival of countless other species that share this planet with us. So let's do our part and stop global warming in its tracks. To recap, global warming is caused by human activities like the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and factory farming. Our actions have led to an increase in greenhouse gases, which trap heat in the atmosphere, causing the Earth's temperature to rise. This rise in temperature leads to a domino effect of environmental changes, from melting glaciers and rising sea levels to more frequent and intense extreme weather events. Factory farming stands as a significant contributor to this crisis, releasing potent gases like methane and nitrous oxide, which are even more harmful than carbon dioxide. It's not just about the climate. Factory farming also poses threats to biodiversity, contributes to deforestation and creates pollution problems. However, we're not powerless in the face of this global crisis. We can make a difference by choosing renewable energy options, making our homes more energy efficient, reducing waste through recycling and composting, and supporting policies that combat climate change. Remember, the battle against global warming is a collective effort. Each one of us has a role to play, no matter how small it may seem. So, let's join hands to protect our home, the Earth, for ourselves and future generations. What do you think about global warming? Share your thoughts in the comments below.